What is going on, everybody? This is Trek. I'm welcoming you back here to episode 64. Where is it? 63? Or 62? I don't know. It feels like we're kind of stuck in a Groundhog Day scenario here. An Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We saw our dad. We think. At the end of last episode. And now we're back. Join the battle cheer. Okay, okay. Dearest Skald of War and Verse, how do you like this frenzy so far? It is... It is quite something... It was like, dude, I'm bored. Raise your horn, Eivor. What stops you? My father, Varen. Have you seen him in this hall? I have not. Should he be here? Maybe technically not, because he died like a bitch, No, but... he died a coward. Yet by Odin's eye, I swear I have seen him. See? Told ya. Cast aside your cares in Valhalla. Let seeking go. We have earned our joy. The journey is complete. I saw you, father. Where are you? Show yourself. We are proud to serve you, Javi. There we go. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure Odin's sight will help. Because our dad shouldn't be Have here. Have you seen Varen? Who? Varen, my father. Varen? Father! Oh, he's running out of the battlefield. Seriously, this would actually get kind of old. You wake up, you stumble around for 15 or 20 minutes, and then you go and battle a horde of... Dust. Where is he? Kind of useless, uh, useless warrior people. I mean, look, I can just kill my own guys. I have the strength of a bajillion dudes. And it's just the same thing over and over and over and over. Every day, after day, after day, after day, after day, after day. I don't know if I'm supposed to be searching for him. I would assume I am. I'm just kind of rolling around. Where'd he go? Oh, do I have to go talk to Sigurd again? Did he lose his arm oh, again? I swear to God. I didn't see Varen. Next time I lose this fucking arm, I'll beat a man to death with it. Do you not tire of these injuries? Never. Look who's behind him. Wait. Father. Um, I think our cutscene glitched the fuck out. She just gets shot in the- she just got shot in the eye, just like Odin, man. Yeah, our cutscene glitched the fuck out. Um, so that's... weird. At least our eye's back. So that's good. Um, but we found Baron, and then randomly some chick teleported into our cutscene. So, that was fun. There are definitely a lot more questions than answers at this point. It's a nice little dagger. Eivor, you have a guest. You should have knocked first. Nonsense. I brought you someone. Luke. My Eivor, there you are. What a warrior you have made So the of dude yourself. we saw yesterday was not I Baron. I am overfilled with pride. How did you find your way here? You remember our great battle. You remember how we fought side by side with your mother and Sigurd and our clans united. We fought, father. But you did not. You died a coward. Eivor, enjoy this. Your father has returned. <laughs> Have you lost all your love for life? <laughs> What the that fuck? was not my father. 
That was a lie. That was not a lie. That was my gift to you. I have power here, and I can do as I please. You wish to see your father, I made it happen. As easy as breathing. By Odin's laws, my father is not allowed in this place. I do not wish to see him where he should not be. Your principles. father died doing what he hoped would save you. He died to protect you and his clan. Well, he did a bad job of it because it didn't do shit. Because we had to go out and take no. care of Kjotvi. <laughs> this is the end of our road, Eivor. This is Valhalla, the eternal golden field. Now come, battle beckons. I don't want this to be the end of my road, though. I've I had things to do in the world of the living. I'm not dead yet. How is this possible? But they're already out there. Oh, I guess that would be the, the battle beckons because they're already out there battling and beckoning and such. And do of such a thing of that nature. How are the slain brought here? The Valkyries know this. Only them. No, that cannot be true. None of this feels right. Do not despair, Eivor. Look, your friends are here. Everyone you could ever want is here beside you. No, they are not real. I have no idea what this place is. This place is So they just melt to dust? What the hell? This place can be whatever you wish it to be, Eivor. I do not want it. Not like this. You would resign yourself to an empty death? The ecstasy I feel here is an illusion. Soon a call like a raven and sing a false song. Illusion or not, here there is no death, no pain, no loss. But it's very No repetitive. betrayal. Not like out there. You want this? To live inside a lie? I am an old woman with a broken body. What life I had left was brief. So I bid okay, so that's the lady that we saw in the Volker. machine thing. It was Svala. I wish you well, Svala. But this is not for me. I must find Sigurd. I'm gonna assume he's out in the middle of the battlefield missing his arm. That's uh, usually where he tends to be. Let's go ahead and clean up some guys over here, yeah? Did you see that three piece? That's pretty nice. Follow my lead. There he is. I knew it would just take a little bit of time for him to kind of pop up. The arm! The arm! Always the fucking arm! I can't move the camera, so we're just looking at the back Sigurd, of the This is an illusion. A trick. Leave with me now, and return to England. Our people need us. No. I am no one in that world. I am somebody here. Powerful. Capable. A god. Here I may live forever. Here I cannot die. Cows die. Family die. You must die. The only thing that never dies is the reputation of the one who's died. In here, you have no reputation. But out there, it's not too late. Yeah, to stop being a crazy pants and act Every like a day, person. the same empty war. The same hollow victory. Spilling blood that tastes of water and smells of See? grass. It's fucking boring. You have known real battle. Real glory. But this is not it. You know this. I know you do. Just making a lot of sense. Brother, it's time to leave. 
Am I destined to follow you everywhere? Till the end of my life? All right. We go. No, you stay. I do not give you leave to go. Oh. We just got... We just got roofied or something. What the hell? Why leave this place? A glory you fought so hard to find. Walk with me. Looks like we're taking control. Okay, I figure it all might continue to be a cutscene. I am humbled to walk with you, Eivor. Your reputation is a song warriors will sing forever. Well, that's good. You are the wolf-kissed one, who lingered at the edge of death, yet fought back. True. I did get munched by a wolf. You spilled the raven wine of battle to paint whole kingdoms red. The raven wine of battle. Now that's something new. You have killed kings and crowned them as you desired, bowing to none. True, true. You stood tall where your brother stumbled, yet still you came to his aid. Why well, is my homie? What else am I supposed to do? You have felled many great foes in your brief time. I sell it for chance. You have earned your oh, no, place Evar, here, actually. Seize it. That was definitely Evar because you could tell with his arm outstretched trying to reach for the axe. Stand aside. My people need me. I have given you everything you wanted. Everything you needed. You gave me nothing. It was all me. Yet I cleared your path. I guided your axe. You were a fly bussing in my ear. It's true. How dare you deny me? Do we have to fight Odin now? What the hell? Everything you believe in stirs before you. Yet you question all. You question the very gods. Whoa! Awesome. So. Your corpse hole is a dream. I uh. A dream is as real as I instantly almost died. Old. Dreams that inspire. Do dreams not make us fearful? Do they not push men to their greatest glory? Looks like I might be Then I am done with dreaming. <laughs> I don't have half of my gear, I don't have any bows, and I have 40 arrows. Look at that punch. Supposed to go over here. I don't know, I wasn't paying much attention. I was just fighting Odin. I think that might have been what I was supposed to do, because now it's progressing further into the cutscene or battle or whatever. Doing. 
Goodbye, buddy. Take up your axe. Wheel. Take up your axe. She just fucked up Odin. Coward of cowards! Becker's bastard! Stand and face me, you feeble down scroll! Hopefully these zombies ain't actually dying. Are you with me? Sigurd! Ah! The Hanged One awakes. Feet upon the ground once more. Eivor! Be careful! Bassam! What is this? Come closer, Eivor. Let me get a better look at you. Leave him be, Bassam! For too long I stared at the sun. It blinded me to the truth, that it was you. It was you hmm. I wanted all along. Did you track us here? Like a cowardly fox concealed in the brush? You widowed my destiny, Wolfkist. You broke all my hopes. He's mad, Eivor. Silence him. Come, Eivor. Come save your crippled prince of dead ravens. <laughs> Do I get my rations and shit back? Are you hurt? It is nothing. Go. Kill that background. Okay, I do have all of my arrows and everything. I don't really necessarily want to fight this guy, but... A thousand times what I suffered. What is this about? My son, Eivor. This is about my son. You speak nonsense, Bassam. Why are you up on the second level, man? Forgiveness Whoops. is impossible. We shared so much in England, fought and bled together. Dig, Eivor, into the wellspring of your memory. I have no idea if we can actually do enough damage to defeat him, or if it's just kind of like dialogue based. Yeah. He stomps. Damn, I had the opportunity for a fourth one, I just wasn't very quick on the draw. Ha! Ow! Show me your neck! Show me! <laughs> the kiss of a wolf takes my prize! Of course! <laughs> I don't like the bass, I'm just kind of losing his fucking mind like this. You spout nonsense like an alehouse drunk. Okay, so he can dodge all of my abilities, so that's good. If you are assigned to this, so be it. You know, like, I was curious how we were going to end up getting those. That is one of the special abilities that I actually don't use. Uh, it's like a grappling hook deal. 
and you uh, you grab them and then you swing them around pretty much. Is this what you wanted? I want you to suffer. Why? What did I even do, man? What what did I do about messing with your son and your destiny, man? When I have finished, we'll be a sack of blood and shattered bones. Um, and you're looking pretty beat the fuck up right clean. now. Make this more interesting. We'll drag Sigurd into the fray. Why would we do that? Coward! Face me! Fight me here! Oh boy. Parkour in this game. It's uh it's great. I fully expect it to go incredibly well. Rations are full. I just have to chase him, which means I likely Be can't. Be on your guard, Sigurd! I likely can't do anything like with a bow to, to shoot him or anything to slow him down. I'm pretty sure I just have to have to run and get closer. I don't know. I'm hoping that we don't end up watching Sigurd die. Maybe that was the great backstab betrayal thing or whatever, is I trusted Bassam and joined the, the Order of the Hidden Ones or whatever the ship. I was trying to kill all the, the people. Sigurd! Be careful! He's coming for you! I have no fucking clue. Down the slope. Sigurd's hanging out in the middle, just chilling. So hopefully he's uh, aware enough to not get schmacked right away. Oathbreaker, you die here. This brings me no joy, Justice Bringer. You were always so kind, but you chose the wrong side. What was the side here? Good throw. I am your prize, Bassem. Come. You are indeed. Can I actually defeat him now? Oh, okay, I see what's happening. We do not die. Not here. That was fucking easy. Stop this thing! Douse its fire! Sigurd! Does he still live? He does. But in darkness. Good. Like that kind of came out of fucking nowhere. Planning this treachery. I dare not guess. Gods, am I to be hounded by a parade of blood-minded traitors the whole of my life? Yeah. There is no end to this. You have something you want to say? Then say it. I. Uh, I need some time to breathe. Let me sit a moment. That man's anger, his rage. It had a familiar sting that I. I cannot place. He was raving, Sigurd. Without sense or reason. Paid no mind. I'm thirsty, I'll be back. I sleep. am not mad, Eivor. These things I see and feel, I know they are true. I know, brother. Now more than ever, you always spoke true. We should cast our eyes towards home. It's a long journey, and I am not well. Home. Eivor. On our journey here, I had much time to think. On the ecstasies and the agonies of our friendship. I cannot return to England with you. That is not my home. Not now. What are you saying? I know about you and Randvi. My love is tryst in spite of me. I should challenge you for such a betrayal. But I'm... I'm not fit for such a fight. I... Oh, shit. I understand. Is that all? Do you recall the day we stood before Edwin, searching for the Sacker Stone? You struck Basim. 
You last out at me. You made a fool of us all. That is not a leader I wish to follow into death and glory. You are being secretive then. Foolish, I thought. And when I returned to the settlement, your pattern of disobedience continued. I made a judgment, and you openly defied me. I believed you were wrong then. I still do. This is not a decision I make lightly, Eivor. You are family. You were my drinker. But here, our paths must diverge. So is that the betrayal of me fucking his wife? Like, that's not that big a deal. Um... I understand yeah. your anger. I would be too if I had suffered these insults. But there is no need to abandon what you have worked so hard to achieve. Return with me. Sigurd didn't do shit. And show me how best that, to lead. That land and glory and stuff in England. It was England me. is too infected with ugly memories. I will stay here. In the land that gave me life and strength. Just as the prophecy warned me. Sorry, I had the hiccups. Prophecy? Years ago, before we left England, I had a vision. A prophecy that I would... that foretold the course of my life up to this moment. You never told me this. And has your prophecy come to pass? I... I do not know. I think it has. But not because I chased it. Well, I hope for your sake that you grow well into the role you've earned today. That hope is all I have left. I will try. I promise. What a weirdo. Well, at least we get all of England to ourselves. We don't have to worry about Sigurd standing over our fucking shoulder. And what the hell was this judgment? What is it, like, 600 times or something like that? The value of whatever sailcloth that was? Like, that's some ridiculous bullshit. So yeah, I stood up for homie. Like, yeah, he was wrong, but he shouldn't have to, you know... Bex, I'm coming out! ...be that bad. Steady, Layla. Were you watching my feed? What the hell was all that? I think that was the solution to our problem. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Desmond. Desmond? What about him? He was just a bartender before he joined us. Not even a very good one. That's when he learned his real purpose. He was like a... I don't know, like a singularity. You know? A vanishing point. All of human history seemed to converge on him. In 2012, the sun threw off a mass coronal ejection so large, it should have wrecked all life on Earth. I remember. I worked at Abstergo then. It was Desmond who saved us. He knew how to stop it. Abstergo claimed credit for that. Something about their satellite network. That's bullshit. It was Desmond. He pulled the switch that saved the world. But that switch is still on. Still generating a magnetic field. One that's growing stronger every day. The temple Eivor found. That's where the field originates. Exactly. And it's been running for eight years. Getting stronger and stronger. It'll be dangerous now. Heat, radiation... Doesn't matter. We have to fix it. Shut it down. No, no, no. Slow it down. It's still protecting us. Hmm. All of this is starting to make sense. Everything I've done. Everything I've learned. It led me here to this moment. You'll need the staff for this one. For protection. Otherwise, you won't make it past the first gate. Right, of course. Okay. I'm ready. Good thing I went ahead and got okay. the staff in the last game. I'll pack the van. I mean, I don't think it really matters. And I'll contact our ship. Anyways, but... It can be in Boston Harbor by tomorrow night. Hmm. Alright, so it's time to do some real people things. Uh, which is crazy, because now we're gonna go kind of, like, relive the the things that Eivor had done. So that's kind of cool. I'm ready. It's a long way to Beantown. Hop in. 
I wasn't sure who I was supposed to speak to. Turns out I found the right one. Very ominous boat noises. Oh, and we're magically here. That's Sean, what you gotta love. I'm here. Ah, good. Your signal's already a little wobbly. Are you inside? Not yet, but there's a hundred feet of ice above me. All right, we may lose touch when you push through, so remember what we talked about. Watch your meters carefully, for radiation especially, and keep the staff close. Got it. Standing by. Hmm. Did her eyeballs just face through her eyelids? Zawahoe Nakwat, Unsme Borturwan di Quarde, Ul Solus Fras Hunakudi De. Unzum huraz, veis der he has, zo humsi. That's a fucking mouthful. I'm in. I hear you. The elevator still works. Ah, uh, 75,000 years. What's another millennium or two? Exactly. It's getting hotter already. Yes, by our reckoning, it's gonna go up by about 16 degrees Celsius. How does it draw so much power? Tectonics is our best theory. The movements of the Earth's crust, the churning lava beneath. Huge source of energy. That's tech humans should have. Energy, not pieces of Eden. You're breaking up, Sean. Say that again, please. You're breaking up. Forget it. I'll call you when I'm topside. What, what are you by calling it when you're topside? Don't be like that. Here we go. Doesn't even sound like it was a bad connection. It just sounded like they gave him like a speech about him, basically. Jeez. Alright, coming in down here to the floor of the elevator area. Oh, I do have to move. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and just do the Layla part in the next episode. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you all next time.